Hi guys. So there's a lot of nervous energy this week. I don't know why. April 18th to April 24th. We're going to take a look at the cards. Uh, what I do want to recap is I think the powerful energies last week were showing us that we we fully transitioned. So there's an upgrade in spiritual energy. There's an upgrade in our physical form. And that upgrade, what it includes is a magnet, um, a rod of iron, which is the man of steel. And it also includes navigation because um, that was the whole prophecy of the plane. It had lost its tail fin, which is its navigation system. So there is some kind of natural navigation system within us. And of course, that's our intuition and that's our spiritual superpower. So there's also a strength though in the physical form, that rod of iron or the man of steel. Okay. There's some kind of extra strength in your physical body. Um, there actually has to be because it's a new wine skin. It's an upgraded vessel. There's more, I'm seeing the sails of a ship. There's better sails. Okay. So let's see what's happening this week. Okay. At the center, we've got our Knight of Cups. Crossing, we've got the Six of Pentacles. Our foundational, Seven of Swords. In our past, we've got the Four of Wands. And in, hmm, so interesting, all these cards, very interesting. Um, Seven of Wands. And then the near future is the Ten of Swords. Okay. Wow. So a lot of mid range cards here with the six and sevens, lots of six and sevens guys. Okay. Okay. Let's take the center card. Okay. Um, Knight of cups. Okay. So there are, Oh, I, I neglected to tell you something. There's an upgrade in our mental. That's what he's saying. There's an upgrade in our mental, okay? Mental, emotional, okay? So upgrade in intuition, upgrade in physical form, and upgrade in our mental and emotional status also. Okay, so that's what we really want to key in on because I feel like there's going to be a lot of um, confusion. This is what the Spirit said just now. It's like confusion causing stagnant, okay? So your mental and emotional state is kind of back and forth, back and forth, and that's making you stagnant. It's not... Um, good for forward motion. And it's because you're teeter tottering back and forth. Okay. So that's very early in the week. And I think it probably has to do with the full moon in Libra. Libra is the scales of balance. I think the moon has shed a light on that. And you are noticing that you're kind of off balance a little bit. And it's making you indecisive. making you indecisive completely. Okay, so be easy on yourself because you would expect that stepping into a new vehicle, it's like move, changing jobs or changing locations, changing houses. Um, there's that time of, of adjustment, a time of adjustment here. Okay, so... I feel like by the end of the week that 
totally levels out. Okay, by the end of the week, that's totally going to level out for you and you're ready. You're ready to move forward. Okay, so rough beginning here, but, and, and this can be, this can be this week, but it can be just adjusting to the new frequencies and the new energies, the new emotions. Okay, so I just saw again that spirit stepping into the body. Very, very interesting. Okay, so I feel like you are a completely new being, and that is why. That is why there's confusion here. I mean, I almost... I almost want to say this is like literal. I mean, that's how, maybe that's just how the spirit shows it to me, you know? It, it, but it's so strong and it's so profound, this change of spirit within you. Okay? And, and the new spirit coming in, he's so less fearful. He's, what I see him as is so much more courageous, okay? Like a knight in shining armor. He's so much more courageous than you are, than you have been. Bold. That's the word that just came through, okay? Bold. Bold. Bold and bolt. Lightning bolt. So Zeus just came to mind. Zeus is stepping into you, okay? <laughs> okay, I love it. Love the stories. Okay, six of pentacles. Well, there's the scales. There they are. There they are, there they are, there they are. Okay. So the spirit is saying, which wolf are you feeding? Okay, this is you. You need to be feeding the strong wolf. Okay, if you're familiar with that terminology, it's just like pretend there's two different wolves within you or one is a wolf, one is a lamb or something like that. You need to be f feeding that strong component in you. Okay, so feeding is reciprocal. Okay, you want to feed the strength. Then you have to eat in strength. Okay, here's that lion that we had last week with Samson. Okay, something, something is related here. Um, and you know what? I think it's okay to tip the scales in the favor of the new strong one at this point. Okay, because, oh. Okay, so this, this new spirit is a baby. It needs so much more feeding constantly, constantly feeding because it's new. It's a baby. It's an infant. So you need to be feeding it constantly. And that's okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. In fact, you're going to let the weak one disappear and die out. That's what I see here. Okay. Just let it disappear. Okay, and that is justice. That is justice for you. Okay, so I'm seeing a very selfish, what, what the world would call selfish, okay? So you become selfish this week. Stand in your strength and stand in your power, okay? Now, what we know 
is that that's not actually selfish because if you can arise to your full potential, this is how you best serve the rest of humanity. If you are at your full potential, you are doing the best service to the whole collective. Okay? So I want you to be very selfish this week. It's about you. It's about you and your new baby. This is what I keep say- seeing. So your motherly instinct to feed your own soul. Okay? It's a very selfish time. In fact, everybody else in the world has to drop out for a few weeks, right? Especially when that baby is just brand new and you're getting used to each other. Very interesting. Very cool. I I like that. I like that. Okay, so you're going to catch on, you guys. One thing that I've noticed, I've had a couple of things that I said just a couple months ago that I see coming to fruition right now. Okay, so we were told that things are going to start coming more quickly. Whereas previously, I feel like You know, I would mention something and then it wasn't until a year later that it would come back around to fulfillment. Okay, I feel like you're going to get the hang of this so quickly. It's one of your superpowers is what I'm seeing. And I think the word is adept, not adapt, but adept, adept. Okay? It's like you, you can handle this. So a little shaky at the first couple days here and then right into, um, proficiency, proficiency. Okay. Okay. So this is in our foundation. He to me, this guy runs away with the prize. Okay? Uh, and, uh, no. He, he's slipping away. Okay? Because he's a little bit slippery. Okay? I almost feel like serpent energy. He's a little bit slippery here, and he slips away with the prize. I don't know why he, he's so secretive to me. Okay, so this is what I want to say from this. You go and do your own thing and you slip away and they don't even know that you're gone. Okay, the rest of the world, they don't even know that you're gone, that you've gone into this little space for yourself and your newborn. Okay. What they don't know is that you've taken all of the tools with you. Okay, these are your upgrades. Okay, so they don't recognize it. Why? But why do you care? Okay, let them think what they will think because you're running away with a prize here, even if they don't know it. Okay, does that... Does that bother you? It it shouldn't, of course. Okay, so it's almost like you're... Oh, well, this is, this is more true to the energy, okay? I think they think that you're included with their plans, Okay, the world, your family, your friends, your workplace, they think that you're working with them toward the same goal, and yet you have snuck out the back door, and you are completely focused on your own ideas, planning, and future. That's what it is. 
That's what it is. I think they think you're on board with them, and yet you've taken a, a completely different ship, completely different vessel. You've take, I, I'm seeing you stepping from one ship to another. And they're wooden ships. They're ancient ships, okay? Yeah, they don't even know you got off the ship. They think you're still on board. And you took, you, I, I feel like you took all the booty with you. Okay. Again, this isn't a bad thing. This isn't something of deception. This isn't stealing. This isn't theft. It has, there is none of that. No, it's nothing like that whatsoever. It's more like you're the most valuable thing on the ship. And they don't know it. Very cool. Okay. This is in the past. Okay. Guys, this to me is speaking about tradition. Okay. So once again, I'm feeling like the very similar energy where, oh goodness. Okay. So They're still focused, and everybody around you is still focused in the traditional sense, okay? Looking at su success in the same way. Marriage, career, all of that to them is security and stability, and um, that's what's celebrated with them, Okay? You are leaving all of that behind. And there's such a divide. Okay? We are, we are so much stepping into a whole new world where all of the foundations change. We, we don't count on the same things that we used to count on. We don't stand on the same foundation that we used to stand on. Okay? These things that are so valuable in the 3D world have no value in the world where we're the new frontier. Okay? It's completely different language is how I see it. Language. Language. Language, 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 which is huge because your words form you and your reality. Okay? So, in speaking about these things, uh, about the new important adaptations that we have for the new world, we are literally forming new foundations. It's us speaking and putting it forth that makes it so. So if I say what's important, okay, we were once taught that what's important in this new land is attitude and countenance and how much joy, happiness, your frequency, your gratefulness, your vibration, how much currency that puts forth, okay? So in the new world, if we establish that the new currency is your attitude, doesn't it seem, doesn't it seem that that's a better way to weigh things in the scales? Kindness, generosity, all the fruits of the Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit. That, those are the things, Galatians 5, that were growing forth from our tree in the last video. It's the fruits of the Spirit that are profitable. Okay, so I'm seeing the word prophet, and I'm seeing the word prophet. Mm -hmm. 
one who has spiritual fruit. If you prophesy of these things and they're you have the correct spiritual fruit. You have spiritual fruit growing off your tree. Prophet of profit instead of the prophet of doom. And it was because, of course, there was no spiritual fruit growing forth yet. Right? We were just laying the groundwork back then. And then that is, that is all I could put forth back then. Okay, very, very, very interesting. I love this. Okay, okay, so this is at the forefront of your mind. Yeah, like, you guys, I feel that you still feel like you have to defend your position or defend your, um, the ground which you're taking over. Wow. So I, I am seeing, you know, the manifest destiny taking over the new world, right? Okay. There is no fight because we're not in the energy of battle. Okay, so I want, I want to see you gliding like I saw that snake, gliding, slipping, forward. Okay. Just glide forward and, and don't believe that this is difficult. Don't believe that it's, that you're battling against something that you're trying to weed your way through the underbrush. Okay. It, it's not like that. It's clear, unobstructed paths. If you believe it is. Okay. So I, I don't even feel that this is more of a card of practice fighting, play fighting, pretend fighting, okay? Because they're not holding swords. You're not really going to gravely injure somebody, okay? It's almost like if you do any of that, if you engage in that back and forth with anybody, it's almost to appease them, it's almost to appease them as if you're still part of their thought patterns, okay? That we have to argue about this, that we have to struggle between us to get anything accomplished. Okay, I guess if you want to play that part, but that's not really authentic, okay? That's hard. That's hard. Authenticity. As much as you can. Authenticity as much as you can. There's a verse in the Bible that I love. And it's Paul is talking about when he's talking to the people that are still under law, he pretends to be as if he is still under law in order to gain those people. Okay? I, I, I feel that energy from this card. You know, if you have to still listen to their stories, I was going to say drama, from the 3D realm, you know, that can be of benefit to them. So I think that's okay. Just, just remember your place and that your place is very peaceful. Okay, and you can let it run off your shoulders. That's how I'm seeing it. Okay, just pass right over you. Okay. Okay, so totally just gave me a warning that what I just said is allow it to be that way. Allow it to be like a pretend battle, if you have to, that you can relate. Okay, this helps them. Okay, and I'm seeing very, like your very close family members who don't understand the, the world that you've stepped into, right? Okay. Otherwise, 
it, it's not beneficial to you. Okay. Moving on. Um, Okay, you know our Excalibur picture? It's just the big X, basically, that I have. Um, That's an X chromosome. So, I'm getting something about the mother, okay? GM, galactic mother, great mother. This is our near future. I think that she is killing um, all, all the people around her with her energy, okay? And I feel like they don't know what's happening to them. Um, when, you, when you kill somebody, okay, so it's not real death, of course, just like what I'm seeing right now is God in the garden said to Adam and Eve, if you eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which of course they did, he said, you shall surely die. And they didn't die. They were kicked out of the garden, but they went on to have Cain and Abel and all their other children. Okay. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting here. It's GM's Oh, it's her speaking, her voice, her words. Quickly, thoroughly killing people. Okay, which is good, which is good because the whole story is that you have to die to who you were in the past go through hell, kind of, and transition into heaven, right? Okay, it's just, it's a healing process is what death is. It's just an end of one, the beginning of the new, okay? This is the near future. So hold on for that because, well, hopefully it'll come to pass very soon that some of the people around you start to recognize I think you're putting them to death. Yep. And the, the, slowly then they can start to hear you. Slowly then they can start to relate to you. Okay? Okay. Okay. The emperor. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Just very simple to me that he is coming into his power. So interesting. We've heard before that we are apprentices in this new land, right? We were students back in the 3D. Apprentices now, this guy is giving me vibes of mastery And I don't think it's of the previous 3D reality. I think it's of the new body. So I had seen this previously, that we were stepping into the 5D and we had to get our footing. So there was going to be a little bit, an adjustment period. Okay? I think that's where the apprentice is learning his skills. No. I'm seeing, seeing him wielding his new weapons his new tools. Okay. That's what he's been doing. I think this is the mastery of those tools, how powerful they have become. And he's representing the mastery of that new vehicle, the captain of the ship. Yeah. The captain of the ship very soon. 
very soon, guys. Oh, <clears throat> it's when you start feeding the right, the right wolf. When you start feeding the right wolf. Okay, that's proof. That's proof. That's going to be the proof that you're mastering. So this is a personality change in you. Yep. Okay. It's always for love, for the higher frequency. Okay, but that comes with integrity. That this new person comes with integrity. And then he's going to be the master, the captain, very shortly, guys. Okay? <clears throat> oh, yes. Ten of Pentacles. Um, which represents, you know, fulfillment of everything earthly. I'm seeing the sign of t Taurus, which is all of the earthly resources, you guys. This is fulfillment in that. So that's, that's your 3D manifestation. And this is in your environment, okay? This is right here, right now. Your mastery comes with mastery over the 3D realm. No. The ability to manifest in the 3D realm. The ability to manifest. That's your mastery. The ability to manifest in the 3D realm. the height of resourcefulness here. Hopes and fears. Okay, once again, she's coming through as justice. And... You fear that you're not worthy yet. The thing is this, you've, you've always been this. You've always been this thing. It's just that you haven't been able to understand it. You've always been this master. You just haven't been able to understand it, comprehend it. Okay. Therefore you haven't been able to experience it. So you've, you've known of these things in knowledge once again. Okay. I, this is what the card is saying. I, you have to be brave in order to actually step out and experience these things instead of just having the knowledge of it. Okay. Once again, courage. Courage, and that will show you that you've always been able. That's what this little thing is saying to me right now. This is the upgraded antenna. Okay? So I feel like you've always had it. You just haven't known it. We had to clear out a lot of debris. Okay, now we're going to step out into the experience, and it takes takes some courage. But the Spirit's going to lead you anyway. It's not going to let you just sit there, okay? You are bound to move forward. Okay. By the end of this week, you're moving forward with that. And then the Five of Wands. Okay. So the, this is going to talk to us about the 5D. You know what they're doing in this picture? today, they're building something. Okay, you guys, so you are definitely an engineer, an architect, and you, this is the outcome. You are definitely starting to manifest something into the physical world. You're actually building a building.
That's what these guys are doing. Very cool. I've never seen the car that way before, so that's very cool. I, I love that. Um, it strikes me that there are people around you helping you. Okay. I almost feel like there's a complete switch from where you were here when the people didn't know that you were the most valuable thing on the ship and they thought that you were on board with them. I almost feel like little do they know they're on board with you. And you're not even speaking it directly. It's like energetically, they are building with you and they don't know it. So it's the completely opposite situation from this card where let's say your workplace thinks that you're working for them, with them, for their mission, when in fact, somehow you've turned the tables, which doesn't surprise me, turning over the tables of the money changers, and it's actually working for you. All of that energy is actually working for you in your favor. And that's what's going to help you build your tower. It's your tower. You're building a tower here. Okay, very cool. Okay, let's get a key card. Just a lot of quick movement, you guys. I, I see very quickly from confusion and hesitation to quick, unexpected almost. Quick, unexpected movement. Like, wow, a re realization that, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that this had been building all along, that this had been the plan all along. Okay? So something unexpected coming through. When I, when, whenever I say the word architect, you guys can think of the pyramids because that's, that's always what comes through <clears throat> the symbol that I get for the architect. Okay. So here you are the son of God building your pyramid, which is huge because the pyramid is the gem that you are. And the gem that sets, sits in here, and the Spirit told us a couple weeks ago that they were going to intervene. And in symbology, okay, we saw this pyramid coming to earth, and it was sending out a frequency. This is it. You're constructing it. They're all working for you. You're, you're the designer of it. You designed it. You're designing it. God, you guys, it's the foundational pillars of the new earth. The foundational pillars of the new earth manifesting into this reality, whatever it is. I think that's awesome. Okay, that's it. I think I'll see you midweek. Thanks for watching.